Okay, I absolutely love Prophet's Memory. It's super fun to play with. Um, this spell is just, it, it's just so fun. Like you you play it, you get plus one, plus one on one of your one drops, and then you get more plus one, plus one counters as you draw. You can pause to read it if you want to, but I already went over it in previous videos, so I'm not going to cover it again. I'm trying to speed run these intros because I don't have much time to record. I'm recording them in, in bulk here. Um, what I did is I cut a land because I'm so damn sick of flooding. I am so tired of flooding with this deck, and it feels like it happens way too often. Another Dream Thief, and actually it's been really good. The reason it's been good is that the Surveil helps you hit the land drop in case you keep a one lander, which does happen on 20 lands more often than not. And it's also another good one drop to play with the Shredder on turn three, and it's also something you can discard off of the Scholar. So overall, very, very happy with that. I love having the eight one drops, curves out better into memory. It's really good. Another thing, I'm just playing another Hearse because freaking Teamer is everywhere and I hate that deck now. Uh, with a passion, it has answers to everything. It's, it feels like it always has like everything in the right position. I don't know. It's so annoying. And uh, one more go for the throat. I don't remember if this was here last time, but I... Oh no, it, it was It was not. This is a reaction to the mid-range matchups. The Demir, the Golgari, they have way too many threats. You have to kill them all. The Preacher, the Shield Red, the 3-4 that makes the token in Golgari. It's so annoying. You need all the removal spells that hit like those bigger creatures. So it's less about the small ones, more about the big ones. That is really about it. Everything else I'm happy with. I'm not sure about the third Hearse, but I'm just trying it. So yeah, anyways, I'll leave you with that. Uh, check out my second channel, link in the description, where I play roguelikes. And uh, yeah, enjoy the gameplay. Wow. Man, I love playing 21 lands. <laughs> I don't even know if this is keepable. It probably is, because I'm on a draw. I probably won't draw another land. I'll just draw like a one drop. Be able to like shredder into one drop turn three. Okay. There are way too many teamer decks right now. I might have to go even harder on the sideboard. This is the past two days have only been teamer. And it's definitely pretty annoying. Jeez. Yeah, this is not going to end well. I don't have a good hand for this. Mostly because of Kalan. Kalan is super good. Against me. Okay, well, I guess 21 lands is basically irrelevant when you just draw two more. I mean... And they drew well, I drew poorly, so... <laughs> it's nonsense. Play Virtue next turn, which is kind of a problem. Easy. Might as well concede here. This is just absolute nonsense. I mean, yeah, when I saw the two lands, I should have conceded immediately.
I kind of forgot how I usually sideboard this matchup. I do need interaction for the ramp mill guy. How many though? Because I have an answer here too, so I have four answers. I don't think Duress is that good against them. But it's not bad either, because I still need to interact somewhat. Actually, I think Spellbeard's better on the play. I probably do need like one or two go for the throat. I think Duress can go actually. I don't think it's that good, no. I'd rather rely on the bat in this matchup. And then the counter spell. Well, just spell pierce, I guess. Is there a card that's like an obvious cut that I just didn't see? I don't think so. The only problem is when you don't draw past memory, I just have no tempo. I, I mean, last game was a fluke, so. It's a good one. I guess I just take all the interaction. I don't know. Kind of weird they didn't grab green with the virtue in hand, but. Because now they can't do. I mean, they have to play. They have to play a tab line. So because they did that, I, I can. I'm even more comfortable with the bat turn to it. Otherwise it could have been like a maybe slight misplay to not play the hearse and just grab the land. I don't know. Hey and sorry. Happy partner anniversary? How do you see that? How do you know that? How do you have the knowledge for that? I don't even know when my partner anniversary is. I popped up. Oh. Well, that's how little I care, I guess. <laughs> but thanks. I think I probably have to sideboard. Realistically, post board, I should have both spell pierces and both negates, I think. I just have no clue what the cut is. And it's definitely not obvious. It might it might be Shredder, maybe. But I don't think so. Just because Shredder doesn't do that much against them. Well, like they can't really proc it on their turn because they're usually casting one a turn. At least until mid game. And if I'm boarding in counter magic, it's harder for me to proc the shredder. Doesn't it still is like a really good card in like very specific scenarios where I actually get it off the you know, get it going, but with like the thing is I would also have to discard something. Well, there's a shredder and it's 
Na good. Cause I need to hold up the spell pierce. Oh. I mean it's not horrible. It's just like pretty suboptimal. Hey, thanks, Test a lot. Appreciate it. I guess we're gonna see a lot of uh, happy partner anniversary today. That restless reef was an untapped land. Want to be in a better spot, I guess. Don't really care about that. My tempo is really low right now anyways, so it doesn't change much. Now we're talking. Maybe. Or maybe not. Is this better than a random card? I don't know, I'm, I'm again like in a position where I just don't have anything. 24 hour stream? Uh, yeah, obviously, yeah. It's, it's so weird to me. This deck is so weird. Sometimes I just don't understand how I'm in positions where I have, like, no card draw. I probably should have been playing Geeks post-board. Yeah, I'm really... I'm kind of puzzled by these situations where it just feels like I don't have anything. So weird. Like, it's, it's actually really weird. I need... So I guess maybe I should have kept the memory just because I need the plus one. Hmm. Like, what else can I draw? Yeah, it was probably incorrect. I might counter that. It's getting... We're near the point where Spell Pierce is not going to do much. I don't understand. Maybe I need to go to like 20 lands or something. Oh, maybe I have to swing with hers. No, I don't think the swing for five makes sense. Gaining life is more important. So I can kill my bat. It's fine, I guess. Oh, that's actually good for me. I have the answer for that. I mean, they're probably going to slam Virtue Raid soon. I think I have to swing now. 
Well, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely swinging with Reef and Hearst, right? Yeah. It's not over. It's not over. I don't really care about this. It's too expensive. That will be good. Not now, though. Actually, no, not now, because they could sweep. I think they're dead. That's the power of Hearse. I'm, I'm almost down to play another Hearse. I do think it's like really clutch in this matchup. Even if they find a brain. Still dead to Reef. But yeah, in general, I, I don't know. I'm a little puzzled about this matchup because it feels like I either have to sacrifice tempo or I have to sacrifice... I don't know. It's it's so weird. Like, I have to sacrifice tempo or... Interaction. It doesn't feel good either way. Do I prefer it over Lantern? Yeah, of course. Not even close. I, the, it's been, like, recently a lot of people are bringing up Lantern. I still don't understand what you guys see in Lantern. It, it has, like, nothing on her. So it has absolutely nothing other than the fact that it costs one mana. But it's so much worse. Like, if I had Lantern in this game, I would have lost instantly. Okay. Mm. I think I have to sacrifice some amount of tempo for interaction or card draw or something. Maybe I have to... Because realistically, this doesn't bring like that much to the table other than being a one drop in this matchup. I mean, the the surveil is valuable, but but I think I would need. I, mean, I guess it doesn't make sense to cut a one drop and then bring in Gix. so it'd have to be idea, which is a little bit weird. I could also see Duress just generally fine. I said I could cut a, a Shredder raid. Yeah, Gix is both, I agree, but where does it go? Yeah, it probably is instead of Shredder. Okay, I can do this if if I think this is the direction. Now, the problem with this direction is that I'm drawing, but I'm drawing into, like, not that much. I don't, like, I would kind of want an extra counter spell or something, or, like, a Duress... But I, I don't see it. I don't see it. It might be Tidebinder that's just kind of out of place, even though it's so good. It is a three mana play. And that's kind of slow. Wow, I can't I can't believe the opening hands in this deck. I just I, it's unbelievable. This match has been unbelievable. I don't know how I always find four land openers. I just don't have one drops. I just don't have anything. I have Cavern Bat. Which is obviously good, but... That's kind of the extent of it, really. I don't think Scholar on 3 is going to do anything. If I'm Mulganing, it's for memory. And it's also for Bat, so... I mean, Bat is more important than memory, I'd say. A one drop would be nice, obviously. Mm. 
The problem is if I mulligan into like a one lander, then I'm not doing good. Why couldn't these just be like early game spells? I would kind of keep the. I would be more willing to keep this. I think Shield Art is really clutch, but uh, it's a little bit late on the draw. It's exactly what I said, basically. So I'm I'm basically screwed either way. I either keep the four lander, and if I just draw lands like at the first game, I'm screwed, or I mulligan and I find a one lander and I'm screwed. Oh. Okay, okay, I can kind of work with this. Why couldn't this be the second hand? Hey, Pikmin. I'm nothing happy I kept the Dream Thief. The Surveil is going to be clutch, and the one drop is obviously clutch. I need a land. Definitely not that. Too slow. Not enough land. I think I could see post board in this matchup cutting Shredder. I could see it. I can definitely see it. It's a possibility. That's annoying. Um, I'm... <sighs> I might actually hearse here, and the reason I'm saying that is uh, they would have to have untapped red source, which is not easy, and um, it also takes away the possibility of like a sack land coming in. I think it's correct. Or like coming out the graveyard through, uh, whatchamacallit, the... Um, Light and what? It's not light line. Virtue, green virtue, yeah. Like taking it out is probably worth. Actually, it's probably worth taking that out. So it's probably like land plus that. I don't know. That's what I expect. I can take both of them anyways. I should have. I should have taken this. Okay, it's fine. They didn't have it. I might cut a land. I'm so tired of this, actually. I don't get it. I really just don't understand how this deck plays this way when I have 21 lands. I, I just don't understand. I'm, it's so puzzling. What's the correct land count for this deck? I just don't understand. I might go to 20. What am I adding then? A Dream Thief? I mean, I'd rather have anything than the land. Anything. Maybe not Dream Thief. Maybe like a two drop that draws, like the Demir one. Something like that. Alright, Hurst did his job already. I have interaction now. And it okay, that's not good. At least it's basics. Okay, that's good. At the very least, I have some sort of board presence here that's actually threatening now. So maybe I'm fast enough. Now I need counter spell. See, in this position, all I would need would be a counter spell. But I didn't sideboard that way. I, I'm starting to see it. I think it's it is correct. Cut the shredder. Bring in two negates. Uh, I can see it. I think that's probably correct. It's a little bit weird, but I have to... I can't really capitalize off the Shredder too often. Yeah, I think it's correct. It might even be like... There might be a way to bring in like a third shield or something, because I think it's really important. It, they can't interact with it easily at all. They really can't. It's one of the most difficult creatures for them to answer. And that makes it one of the better ones. It's also really good against their general card draw. Like, the, the sweeper needs to draw two, and then they can sweep.
Mm, okay, they're gonna play flying blocker. Okay. Um, or not? So, what? Hey, Bacon, thanks. So, oh, they're gonna ramp, okay, yeah. I have no reason to attack with this, then. Okay, I mean, the ramp is two. It's not, like, it's not super good. But, um... We're still in a position where I'm just drawing land, so I just feel so weird about this deck in in this in these scenarios, and it feels like it happens relatively often. This is where Gix would be like phenomenal, right? Or inspire idea. I don't know. Idea is a little bit weird because I don't have memory. It's pretty bad, I would say. And it costs uh, a lot of mana for no tempo, but it does draw more consistently than Gix on average. So there's that. Okay, so they're going for the... F okay, they're going for the high roll here, just kill me next turn. Wait, aren't they dead here? Did they miscalculate? I drew another land, this is so insane. <laughs> I wonder why they would do that instead of playing Kalan. Yeah. I just got lucky. I just got lucky. There's almost no way I win that from... I bricked so hard. Like, just land, 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 land. At least there was a creature land in there, but... Okay. Wow. I made the correct decision. <laughs> That's... I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it straight up. I was not incorrect about cutting a land. I might be a genius, actually. So, so far, out of two matches, I've had three four landers opening in. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Okay, wow. Okay, wow. Uh, I'm, if I flood, I'm actually going to get pissed off. I might get triggered if I flood here. <laughs> we'll see. I'm just hoping Shredder actually procs here. That's gonna be a problem eventually. No land? So they have a one land? They kept a one land? No way, okay. Damn. They do have the nuts. Holy wow, okay, I'm I'm done. Uh, like I, I'm almost done already. I mean, I pretty much lose unless I find an answer to Warden. They had the nuts. Oh, damn it. No, it's not over, but it's not looking too good. I need to find... Cut. I need to find Go for the Throat. I have three. Wow. Better lucky than good, I guess. I mean, I literally cut a land again. And I'm in the same situation. It's not going to help me. I need an answer for the freaking Warden. It's a start. Yeah, I cut a land gem. I cut a land just to get flooded anyways. Like, I barely, rec I barely recovered. 
Uh, well, actually, I would not say I recovered. I mean, they got so lucky finding the recruiter. If they just find something that this is one of their best draws, right? So if they find something that's like average or just like a one drop, I would have been in a good spot. But that was that pushed for way too much. Way too much. I mean, I could have blocked with everything. Actually, it probably was correct to block with everything. Oh, that's a good draw. I didn't see the triple. I don't know why, because I don't know why they would attack into a triple block. So I just automatically assumed it was not good for me. Okay. Well, it looks like I was, I'm going to get rewarded for that. So that's good. I don't care about the stats. Uh... I don't think I care about the stats. I have the deep cavern now. People still rope in top 200. People rope all the time. Keep the land? I wouldn't keep the land. I think the bat just wins. What do you want the land for? That? Maybe. I probably just win here. No, I, I just keep this right. We're, they're done. I didn't play that very well, but it is what it is. Yeah, I should have triple blocked for sure. The frustration is, I, d I definitely fall into that trap all the time. I feel like once I get frustrated, I just kind of shut down. Just don't have the patience anymore. Okay, am I supposed to board in Deluge? I mean, this is what it's for, right? If it's not going to come in now, what? when does it come in? And is it even good? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even think it's that good. Especially if they're playing this, which is uncommon actually in this meta. But I, I do know I can't play Path of Peril, so that's not even a consideration. Why did I cut the cut down? Or why was I <laughs> thinking that might be a good idea? Yeah, this looks about right. Everything kind of slots in perfectly. I don't see anything else. The only thing I could see maybe is boarding in duress if I think that they're going to board in like removal or something. Or like the case. The case would be kind of insane. I'm skeptical about cutdown, actually. Like, it's going to be good if I catch this, but otherwise it's not going to be that good, right? I mean, you know, I have to keep it. I, I don't know. I don't know what to cut. Feels like my defense is just low. Let's see how this goes. I, I think it's going to be disaster. Unless I hit the sweeper on three and somehow they play into it. which is probably not happening. Now, duress on the draw, is it's better than on the play, but I don't even think it's good enough. It's just too random. But again, this deck, against decks that are super explosive, you have to take risks like that, where you know the risk-reward is not in your favor, but um, you just can't win sometimes when they have the perfect hand, like the if they have the make three one ones again when they're on the play i'm probably just never winning i could see an argument for keeping this is it a good argument maybe i mean being two lands off is a little bit
It's most likely going to be a top land too, I think. Well, no, that's not most likely. I mean, I do want to see how good the sweeper is going to be, so maybe this is the perfect opportunity for that. I don't know. I'm on the draw. I can maybe, maybe work with this. I don't know. The one two is annoying here. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's only white one twos, right? Okay. Now. Another downside of this, obviously, is that it kills my own stuff. Okay. I have an answer for that, thank goodness, but... I would never shredder there. I think uh, the scry is in. I think giving them scrying is bad here. When they they don't have they didn't have another one drop, which means their hand is slow. Which means they can't really. Uh, they're probably not going to be doing that much. Okay, now this is good. I don't really want to commit more to the board in the sense of like one ones, right? Okay. Interesting. Good keep? I don't, I don't think that was a good keep. I got really lucky finding the shores. Oh, they have the 5 damage. Yeah. It's not good. I need plus 1, plus 1, actually. It's more like I get it than not. I wouldn't keep that. Interesting. I don't know. This is a weird game. They should not be this far behind on tempo. It's a very suboptimal hand for them, but and and because it's so suboptimal, it makes this a lot worse. Or not? I wasn't expecting that actually. Probably don't cast consider because I want to keep it or whatever whatever else is gonna happen. Specifically with the uh, shredder or the prof's memory. That's really good. I'm definitely definitely every time I see shield red, I ask myself if there should be three. I think Hearse is better than Flanker, yes. Well, actually, wait, you're talking about a white deck? What white deck? Which, which one? Like, what deck? It depends what deck you're talking about, I think. Because I could see maybe some aggressive decks using the Flanker a lot better. But you have to consider the mana disparity as well. Between, well, two mana and three mana is a pretty big difference. But and the power level is like not that different. Oh, convoke! Oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't read. <laughs> I do. I do that all the time. I just read the first part of the. Set. I'm too lazy to read everything sometimes. Okay, yeah, convoke first teamer. I can't really answer that just because I don't have enough Boros experience. That's hard for me to answer. If I had to guess. If I had to guess, 
I would probably still say that that hearse is better. Uh, because it basically allows you it, it allows you to like have something that's dodging sweepers. But I guess you could hold it, wait until they sweep. The thing is, it's more mana efficient. I think it's easier for you to like just play out your hand, whereas the flanker, you have to like hold it up at specific points. It could like it could hurt your curve out quite a bit. But but if you have no if there are no no issues with holding three mana up, I would always say flanker's better. So there's that for sure. Now, what does this five damage spell do? Okay, so I don't want to attack with shield run, that's for sure. But do they really have another copy of that? Opponent got auto tapped. Oh, you think they got auto tapped? That's that's definitely more likely. That's more likely. For sure. But do I risk it? I would not attack with just children. Actually, maybe I would. Maybe it is better than attacking with the... Because forcing the block does set them behind quite a bit. Kind of, I don't mind that, actually. That, that might be good. I am afraid, because they did reveal that, so... Yeah. Now, if I don't die here, because they, they could theoretically go, like... One drop, one drop, haste, one mana, five damage. But, now that shield that's tapped, it makes... Makes the removal spell less good because I'm not holding out the sh I'm not holding onto the shield out on defense, so it was definitely correct to attack. If I if I think they have it, then it was correct to attack with the shield run. I don't play paper magic. Had a dominary pack open like one two years ago. Opened it yesterday. Had Frexian shield run. Is is that this? Or is Frexian shield run a different? No, one two years ago. Wait, is oh it is this? Okay, I think. Wait, is Shieldred not always a Phyrexian? 